Seeking Your Odyssey is a research project and it's also a community-based program where older people get together and work on problem solving in a collaborative way. Well, we're given uh, various little uh, puzzles and uh, there are the standard things to test uh, creativity and mental uh, action. You've heard the expression, use it or lose it. By creating an experiment where we've randomly assigned people to a group who are solving these ill-defined problems over a 20-week period or to a control group who aren't, so that it's our choice and not theirs. We can actually test whether it's the, it's the using it that, that helps older adults to maintain healthy minds through the lifespan. We basically meet every week with the seniors and help them socialize with each other, give them brain teasers and stuff, and then ultimately help them come up with a skit that they perform here. Three people can keep a secret if two of them are dead. <laughs> As we got used to the different kinds of problems, because every group meeting, the, our coaches had various things on PowerPoint for us to um, be thinking about patterns and relationships and different kinds of puzzles. And so as we got into it more, they came more easily. How many uses can you think of for a brick or for a straw or for a uh, pie tin or something like that? And uh, so we have a go at that. These are the same long-term problems that are used in the international program. And so all over the world, um, there are children young adults and older adults who have been working on these problems for the last like six months or so. The Odyssey Tournament is a, is a big event. The teams have worked um, for weeks to develop their solutions to these ill-defined problems. Um, one constraint of the problem is that one of the One of the problems, um, this was originally sponsored by NASA in the international program, and so there's a lot of a science bent to it. A lot of teams don't solve it as kind of a science problem. They, they make it a humorous, completely humorous performance. But most teams learn something about it, the environment and environmentalism, and, and the, some of our participants who are um, have more of an academic background make it a very scientific exercise. So you just never know what's going to come out of it. They each solve the problem in a completely different way that you don't expect. They draw on their life experiences and the way they know how to approach problems. The neat thing I see, because I've been with it for 20 years with students at an early age, is the intergenerational attraction, the teamwork that goes on, the planning, the execution, being involved with each other, and then the sense of humor and the, the wealth that the seniors bring to the solution to the problem. It's dynamic. I like to stay busy if I can and meet people. I'm not sure where they're going with the data, but I'm always willing to be a guinea pig. Wonderful, excellent. I survived. You I'm good for another 10 years. I've never done this before. Most of the other involvements I've been in are, are different types of analyses of your intellectual abilities. But this is a different one involving how, how open, I guess, or how diverse you can let your personality be. The come on was you're bound to have a better mind when you're, when you're finished. So I jumped at that chance. <laughs> well, it seemed like a good project, a good thing to do to help maintain some kind of mental agility. My favorite part about Senior Odyssey was getting to come together once a week and be with our new friends. We had two marvelous coaches that, that really were active and, and exciting, and uh, it was nice, the mixture of generations. My favorite part was pestering the girls while we were doing it. <laughs> it's done real well. The ladies that I'm with are nice and the uh, young people that are sponsoring it and helping us are very nice and it was fun. Everyone brings something different to the experience so you get a lot of different aspects from people's personalities and when it comes together it flows really well and it's a really good time. I think a lot of them enjoy it overall. They might say, actually a lot of the um, people in my one group, they. Um, they claimed that they were going to hate it and everything, but then in the end, today, they had a really great time. It was great to see that, that they were really enjoying what they were doing, and they were passionate about their performance. They cared about it, and they wanted to do well, so it was good to see that. I look forward to it every week as, a, as an opportunity to 
to gather, and it it uh, definitely was was stimulating. From reading the research literature, that uh, being both physically and mentally active uh, helps to stave off uh, the uh, mental problems of uh, old age and uh, mental rigidity. I will say that's a positive outcome for me. That I knew something about carbon footprints, but I hadn't really investigated it any further and setting it up for this. I think I can get up and give a little talk on it more than an eight minutes. See, speech. isn't that neat? Yeah. Because you're a retired professor. <laughs> yeah. And so you took this ill defined problem and you made it an academic exercise. It was an academic exercise. Which was great. Right. Yeah. I mean, that, so you made it into a yeah. problem that made it exciting for you. Right. The idea of keeping mentally active is important. I enjoyed working with our two coaches, our U of I students, and um, just getting to know six other people from varied backgrounds was really nice and seeing what we all we had in common, even though we came from different backgrounds. It's not only the participants who benefit from this research, but when all is said and done, and we know how participation in programs like this affects performance, that will actually change the way we think about old age. And we'll have a better understanding of how intellectual engagement and play has a very important role in later life. I love seeing parents involved, kids involved, grandparents involved, just just seeing everyone here. And, and the big thing I see about it is the active mindset, the problem solving, the teamwork. I, I just wish we could take this to our legislatures and say, hey guys, this is what we need at the UN. We need people solving problems for the good of all and doing it on teams.